Thanks. Okay. According to our headquarters secret data banks, it is a peaceful planet full of life. All this is possible thanks to a special energy stored in local runes. These runes are the source of longevity of everything on the planet. Here, you don't grow old, but stay healthy for hundreds of years. This is probably why Bruce Nelson has come here. To collect runes and enslave the planet's indigenous population. Ven is waiting for you in the training section. Good luck. Uh, what is up, everybody? It's been a while since I've done some VR streaming. So I wanted to just uh, check this new game out I purchased called Ven VR. And it's a platformer, just like Astrobot. And there's the little guy right there. Hey! What's up, buddy? All Ven movements can be controlled by the left analog stick. Oh wow, this is cool. To navigate through Ven's world, you will need to jump over various obstacles. Press the highlighted button on the right controller now to do so. These types of games really translate to There's VR. There's a checkpoint ahead of you. You have to activate it using the attack button on the right controller. Perfect. Let's see. It's pretty detailed, this little guy. This is um, this was on sale for $9.99, I believe, so I figured I'd try it out. I've got mixed reviews. They say difficulty spikes, um, and it's just the platformer, not as good as Astrobot, but let's check this out. Here you will learn how to jump over various obstacles to proceed further. Remember everything I have told you earlier, and you will be fine. Hello, Kefford. This is Papa Brad. Yo, Papa! What's up, dude? Checking out uh, Ven VR. It's on sale this week on uh, PlayStation. This is out for the Quest 2 as well, so you can pick this up. It's a platformer. I can't get your theme song out of my head. Papa Brand's These gaming. Are here to help you master Ven's fighting skills. Yeah, this is the double jump and oh, yeah, hold let's... attack button to activate Ven's power attack. Country. I like the country. <laughs> Which one is better? These training bots are here to help you master Ven's fighting skills. Use the double jump and hold attack button to activate Ven's power attack and destroy four of them. These training bots are here to help you master Ven's fighting skills. How do they want me? Use the double jump and hold attack button to activate Ven's power attack and destroy four of them. There we go. So if you guys played Astrobot, this is basically Astrobot. I just got done playing, um... There's a game called Max Mustard. Just came out about a week or two ago, and that game is really, really fun, guys. Remember that they held the country one for a week before releasing it. I was not sure if people would like it. I, pl <laughs> I, I played it for my wife, and she, she was laughing because she loves country. She was like, she was like, that's Papa Brad. I was like, Papa Brad's a star now. Biggie, what's up, Biggie? Biggie, I don't know if you have VR or not. I'm just, uh, I got a couple, a couple of games on sale. Let's see. So we got to see. The little screen below shows the number of Ven's remaining lives. When you collect runes, the screen fills up. Once it's filled up, Ven gets another life. Okay. The watches on your right-hand side will show the amount of time in the time trial mode and the number of chests collected. Okay. The middle screen shows you the most important information, such as the area you're currently in, the amount of the saved little vents, and the time that it has taken you to finish the level. Okay. Selecting the area and starting its exploration is very simple. Use these buttons to choose the mission you want to go for, and then start the mission by moving the lever. 
You should come play in our Zen Pinball tournament. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta start getting into them, Brad. Let's send both of you on your journey. I should have more time. Whenever you're ready. Work's been really killing me lately, but I should have some more time. All right, let's see. All right, did I? Did I cool. Once the main transshipment port of a spy, you guys get a NWT. I cannot believe it. I did. A new wave toys? Yo, what's up? I didn't get any new wave toys. <laughs> Come on, follow me. Nix coached me on how to play the Back to the Future table. Yeah, I, I saw Nix's video. I gotta, I gotta uh, use Nix's strategies. Cuddles, is that you? What's up, buddy? They just released her serpent frenzy. Hey, Brad. Yeah, I see people have been doing reviews on Berserk and Frenzy. I gotta watch some of them. I didn't watch them. Oh, hey, hello. Mm. Ugh, I don't know how this is translating to you guys watching this, but this is like... He's like... A uh, foot and a half tall little dude, and it looks really cool. It's is your basic, just go. Th yeah, what are you gonna do, guys? She line can do whatever she wants. She's got nothing on. She's got nothing on us. Whatever she wants to do, she's got the time to do it. Good luck, she lion. Have fun. I'll be sitting here playing some VR, some golden tea. You go ahead and and attack us. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> if, if you got two hours to to make to a, to attack us, congratulations. <laughs> The scale's pretty cool on this. Guys, I'm just going to tell you right now. No, nobody's worth making a two-hour video on, no matter how much they rub you the wrong way. <laughs> and the best, part of, the best part about it is... I'm not going to watch the video. Rex or... Oh, dude, Light Brigade is... My, uh... One of my favorite VR games is Light Brigade. I I think I'm like a level 26 rifleman. I have to check. I got I got caught up in that game. I got addicted to that game. Synth Riders is still one of the best VR titles. Dude, I, I I had Synth Riders on PlayStation, then I bought it for the Quest. And the mixed reality mode for uh, Synth Riders is insane, and I wear it with my haptic vest. It's it's insane. So much fun. She's always doing dedicated drama streams all the time. Yeah, I mean, if that's her thing now, that's her thing. She wants to do drama. I don't, you know, let her do it. That's her content. I don't think we'll ever tell people, like, don't do your content. You're just going to be judged on it. That's all. And if, and I'm not going to watch it, so I don't know what the purpose is. Is you know, if you if you make a video about me and Rex, are fine. <laughs> Doesn't mean we're going to watch it. <laughs> Why would I take two hours out of my day when my day is already stacked up with work, with wife duties, and and listen to that? <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. I, yeah, it looks like he's kicking ass with his gaming rig. Good for him. So, 
So I don't know if this if the scale is coming across here. What is this is? Yeah, I can't. I I think he did. I can't find his old channel. I think he did start a new channel. Some type of like. Damn. Oh, look, I died. Oh, they put you back at the checkpoint. Again? Really? I should have it by now. Whoa, whoa. This game's a little tougher than it looks. I'm stuck. Wow, I died again. This game's... They say this game's real difficult. I know this place already. Oh, hey, uh, I don't know if Brooklyn's in the chat. I gotta write you back, Brooklyn. I should be free for, uh, too many games. Oh, wow. Yeah, Brad, there was a, a fine line between criticism and hate, and he definitely went off the rails on all of us. Yeah, yep, yep. I think we all know now that he was, uh, it was used a little bit by the community. Um, they used him to weaponize. How am I supposed to kill him? Uh, okay. I mean, look what happened to uh, console kits. Console kits left. He got caught and he left. He you know, he couldn't take the heat. He got caught. Yep. And, uh, hey guys, Co console kids was an attack dog too. And he got caught. And instead of facing the music and dealing with it like a man, he ran like a baby. That's just, it's just the way it is, guys. If you're going to use console fanboy and you get caught using them, then you should face the music like he did. It's all, it's just the bottom line. Instead, he ran away like a baby. Sorry, not sorry, right, Brad? Oh, I fell off! Wow, this game is tough! Yep. At the end of the day, everything has issues. Yeah, damn, You're crazy, Papa. I think. Oh my God! Look at this. I... This is the weirdest version of golden tea I have ever. <laughs> hey, we. I don't think anybody knows, but we play golden tea live every Tuesday on Rexer's Twitch channel. Five of us play every week. We we got me, MCAP. Brady Goat 12 and Vegas Arcade Fan. Yeah, I saw that. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to, like, go over here. Wait. I'm gonna try to avoid this. Watch us. Let's go this way. Okay. I have to go this way, though. Let me go this way. Alright, finally! That checkpoint is a blessing. Finally got Brad into VR. Yeah. Biggie, Biggie got to get into VR. It's cheap, it's fun, and it's 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 the future. Use the double jump and hold the attack button. You know what's funny about VR? A game like this is cost. It costs nine ninety nine. Look at this, nine ninety nine. And we're fighting. We're fighting about 700-hour Pac-Man machines, and, and these games are out here at $9.99. Think about that, guys. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. I mean, look how cool this is. I mean, $9.99. And everyone's worried about when the next 900-hour track and field cabinet's coming out. It's crazy.
Oh, did I die? Oh, phew, I thought I died. And this game is about a six-hour campaign. You're paying $9.99 for six hours of VR goodness. Come on. <laughs> the value is just not there with, with a lot of other things. And if Cuddles is in the chat, he can probably name 25 Steam games. Oh. Yep, exactly. I was gonna, I was gonna say, I bet you Cuddles can name a thousand Steam games for for twenty five cents. That will give you so much more. Yeah. Yeah. There's certain times of the month where I'm so busy at work. I'm working uh, f twelve to fifteen hour days, so it's hard for me to do much of anything. Look at this guy. I don't know what this guy is. This guy is crazy. The thing can ball them. Get out of here already. Aw, oh, killed me. Wow, this game is tough, guys. I like it. Don't worry. We'll get it this time. Pretty cool table. I want to get this little guy. Uh, you know what? I'm going to skip him. Going up. Oh. Woo. Good thing we got runes. Otherwise, that would be the end of the journey. Oh, I can't jump on that. Wow. I gotta get used to the uh, sense of scale in this game. Let me go this way. Is pretty cool. I don't know if I can wait, how am I supposed to get across? Missing the gore and practical effects in the John Carpenter movie, but a challenging table with lots to do. Think I can make that? I don't know if I can make that. Oh. Can I jump in the air? I still only have a PS4. What? Hey, if I'm being honest, guys, <laughs> if I didn't have PSVR 2, I wouldn't put on my PS5 that much. What what is there really to play that's original on the PS5? Not much, you know. Spider Man Two, which is basically Spider Man One. I mean, for if, if we're being honest, it's all the same stuff. There's nothing groundbreaking, if so, except for VR. So if I didn't have VR, how am I supposed to get up there? I don't think I can get up there. Seventy dollars games. Isn't that crazy? Like. Like, look at all the games we can get for nine dollars, and they won't. Yeah, that. Yeah, COD is the same stuff. Look, I can't. How am I supposed to? Huh? Um, should I come here? Dude, I stopped playing Call of Duty. I mean, we used to play competitively in the early 2000s, I think. <laughs> We're all at war. Yeah, it's like... Oh, there we go. Yeah, you're... you're I 
guys, look at this. This is $9.99. One Zen pinball table is $15. It, it, there's got to be a balance between value and quality. And I know it's an exclusive table. It's only on, you know, the 4K. I get all that. But look, I mean, the value proposition is very hard, especially since you can get those tables for pennies. Yeah, that's all, yeah, exactly. Th think about this. If you have a 4K table, you are going to buy the packs. You're going to support Zen Pinball. But that means spending hundreds of dollars over what the regular prices are on Steam. You know? How did it kill me? And then at that point, you're like, hey, I'll just go OTG. But then what's the point of having the 4K? <laughs> you know? you went. O Why go OTG? Oh, shit. He said I don't have enough ruins. What? Oh, it opened. Yeah, that's a lot, right? How long do you think people will buy laggy versions if not fixed? Uh, not long. That's the problem. They got to come out. They got to bring out Attack from Mars. Perfect. They got to bring out Attack. With a pretty long fuse. Yeah. The I mean, I swore I read a post from Mel that said uh, Snoopy, or what is it? Yeah, Snoopy was going to be perfect, and only Adam's family had the problem. But then Snoopy comes out, and it has the same problems. Come on, Mel, what do you? Why do you get caught lying? We told them the Godalies were in need of great work. <laughs> I wish I could raise up a little bit. I can't see sometimes over these, uh, whatever's going on here. Natural. They fixed a lot of the issues, I think, because of our honest feedback. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen, everybody knew, I don't know if anybody wanted to admit to themselves, that this thing wasn't going to come out baked correctly, and then everybody was just going to have to deal with it. And that's, I think, the point Rex and I were trying to make, that you guys, whoever was buying this, had to be prepared to be patient. Nobody knows what this madman has left behind. All right, looks like I got a I got a level done. Yeah, it, it is. I'm telling you, in a year from now, they're going to get this thing perfect, and then I'll jump in and get one. But I don't have the money nor the time to be a beta tester and then get frustrated with it. You know what I mean? And then every time I walk by it, I have to think of all the frustrations I had. But it, oh, I just missed one. It will crush all but the best computers even with OTG. Yeah. See, that's the thing. The potential is there for this thing to just take over the whole market. They just have to get it right. And I think six months to a year is going to be is what we're going to have to wait. But it is what it is. I mean, I just I have my HD. I can play OTG. All right, let's see. Oh wait. Would like how well they did the older tables since you made them from your HD. Yeah, they look like they're done well. See, that's the thing. Who I don't who who did the old tables? Magic Pixel because those guys know what they're doing. This is where Ven's folks used to live. Get to know the surrounding world and find as many ekais as possible. I don't know what this thing's for. What is that for? I wonder if Magic Pixel did so well because they had a super long development time. It 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 has it's to be. 
Dude, for get a better skin later on, also have your pick. That's the thing, right? I mean, that's the that's the other elephant in the room. On the ERC yeah, dude, that was some fun times, Brad. You know, that's the other thing I don't like. Let's say I'm waiting for Indiana Jones. Well, just give me a roadmap so I can know when I can save my money to buy it. Brad, we had fun and we're still here, no matter what they tried to do. Whoa, what was that? that... Whoa. Whoa. That's cool. Brad, isn't it crazy that uh, you have all those subs? You busted your ass all those years, Brad, and it, pay it paid off. All the stuff that they put you through, Brad, and you're still here making quality content. Is the Arcadians coming back? Nah, Brad. Brad's too big for the Arcadians. <laughs> that's all. Yeah, that's all you can do. If if people don't like who, listen, people are not gonna like you for who you are, and that's fine. But don't change who you are. And you didn't, Brad. So. At 1K, we need to get our to 1K soon. Yeah, we gotta get we gotta get T to 1K. Oh, Brad, all you have to do is get Bob, Bobby Vu to give away ten thousand dollars worth of prizes, and then everybody will get the 1K. <laughs> oh, so so that I don't get it. I gotta get the timing down on those guys. It looks like their their green gas will kill you. Let's see. So he spits his gas, and then I can get him. Okay. Yeah, it looked like Rascal was drunk. I I tuned in towards the end, and he was saying some crazy stuff. I assume he was just having a good time. Yeah, dude, I love your show. You're getting bigger every week. See, how am I supposed to... How, I can't see. He was drinking. Oh, he, okay. I, I, he had to, right? Because... What the hell? Hey, what's going on? I can't tell. Uh, PSVR does not have a chat overlay, so I don't know who's talking. So you can say who you are. I'll say hi. Yeah, he had a ton of prizes. It's crazy. Bobby Vu is crazy. Whoa. It was a long stream also. Well, those guys normally go for a couple hours. We so we we play Golden Tea live on Rexha show and then I tuned in afterwards. In reading up the comments with the the Williams tables are deaf premium and the haptics SSF kit make them worth it. But 12.50 would be a boon. Those dudes were loaded last night. <laughs> Good for them, you know? To me, though, you know, and this is no knock on Rascal, this is no knock on Sean, but it used to be that a thousand subs was celebrated because you could get monetized. You only need 500 to get monetized now, so who cares about a thousand other than it's just a thousand, you know what I mean? Everyone had thousand sub parties because that was the monetization level, but now you just need 500. So a thousand's pretty much. It should be a five hundred party at this point. You can run ads at one k. Oh, so you can't run ads at five hundred? You can only be monet. Like what? What is the five hundred monetized compared to the thousand? I thought they were the same. Yo. I got a letter saying I could monetize my channel, and I thought that meant like super chats and. Super chats. Oh. Nah. Yo, you know. Yeah, exactly. Well, they are cheaper on other platforms. You're paying the at games tax.
Yeah, I, I, I haven't turned on my monetization at 500, whatever that is. I just don't... I don't really see... I don't know. You see my content. I don't have good content. <laughs> I just make some videos. That's the problem. Once those tables run perfect, then they can at least be in the conversation to pay all that money for those tables. Dude, I bought... So I, I have every single table that's available on the Switch FX. And the Addams Family was like 99 cents on sale. It's like, okay. I mean, for 99 cents, you can't go wrong with that. And it runs just as good as, uh, you know, the Steam version. Yeah, I need Kevin Lindsay from Golden Tee. Oh, Again? Oh, no, it's not. That's the thing. Oh, I keep dying. Yeah, if you can get FX3 running perfect, or, you know, on the Switch. See, I don't think uh, Zen is completely dialed in on, on FX Pinball right now. Yeah, that's the spot. And the other thing is, how many people are on the Zen team? Brad, I don't... Dude. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of people in our community. I know Brooklyn Menace is a huge VR guy. But not many people play VR. So I, I try to stream now and again. I should actually do more streaming. Uses a lot of resources. You need a pretty good PC, even more so for Pinball M. Yeah, that's that's exactly right, and it's that's hard to optimize for that. Whoa. Oh, he got me. Damn. Sometimes you can't see what you're doing up there. Alright, where am I? I saw things. Beautiful things. Our work is not done yet. I mean we we don't know how many people This is a PS out on the switch, but the graphics aren't nearly as good. Yeah. I have a quest three. This is the PSVR version of Ven. You know, on a $1,600 computer, 12,900K, 3,082 and 4K. Damn. Whoa. You ever see something like this and just kind of want to hit? You know, if you, uh, if, oh, how did I miss that? If you like Astrobot on the old PSVR, this, this will satisfy your itch. This time I'll make it. But, if, if you have the, uh, quest, you gotta play a game called Max Mustard. It is better than this. It is really fun. It's basically this and Astrobot put together.
Whoa. Oh look, it won't let me jump off. Okay, there it did. I want the PSCV2 just not for the price they are asking. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I I mean you guys can tell I'm a I'm a fanboy of, of VR, but damn Sony's le letting this thing out to die. <laughs> How, I wonder how the Quest version compares to this version, if they did any optimization. But man, Sony Sony is letting PSVR out to die, guys. 600 bucks, no games. They're not really doing much with it. Where's Astrobot? Where's Blood and Truth 2? Where's, where's the games? Hey, Brooklyn. Yo, Brooklyn. Sorry I didn't get back to your text. I, I didn't know it... Um, I kind of just kind of forgot, but I should be in for too many games. Brooklyn, have you played this yet? Whoa! Oh, I went out on a limb there. <laughs> What's back behind there? Uh, oh, there's a little. Oh, ready? I had to go get this guy. <laughs> I have it for over three years. <laughs> did you finish it? What did you think of it? It was on Quest. Yeah, I, it was on Quest a long time. I'll say right now, Max Mustard is a much fun... It's a better experience than this. You gotta play Max Mustard, Brooklyn. I got really far and lost my save data. What? Level one complete. This is on set. This is on sale, Brooklyn, for nine dollars. So I figured I'd finally check it out. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably get it for PSVR two as well. But you can, you can get a twenty five percent off code and get it for like twenty bucks. It's not coming anytime soon. The PSVR two, from what the developer said. You know, the people that did it did Richie's Plank, and Richie's Plank is like a two-man team, so it's going to be a little bit before we get it. Oh, did I get them all? Oh, I missed two of those little guys. Yeah, they say fourth quarter, but I was in the Discord. I'm not I'm not sure they're they're far along with anything. I hear it's amazing. It's really fun. All right, let's chill. Let's play another. Let's see if we can get to level four. And see if there's a boss battle, and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. Maybe I'll play some other games tonight. It's weird now that spring is here, and I'm not working as much. I I, I got all this energy, man. I've been I've been sleeping after work. I've been working so hard, but is to reach and board I feel much. I feel like I got tracks. energy these last couple there's days. No telling what can be waiting for you just around the corner. I've detected a few ekai's hiding nearby. Take oh. them to safety as soon Come as possible. On, let's go. Look at this little- what is this guy gonna do? Oh. It's time for you to get into Hell's Reaper VR. Ah, it, I- is amazing. What did I tell you, Brooklyn? I don't know if Brooklyn said that, but what did I tell you? You have to wait three- three months for every VR game. Yeah, they finally did it. It took them how long? Now all we need is, uh... Ghostbusters to put better story content out. Awesome, Maroon. This button do. Whoa. Get him. I'm getting the hang of this. Oh, oh, I got him. Oh, they gave him to me. You see that? 
Ghostbusters just added a whole bunch of new content too with the original cast based of the new movie. Yeah, I saw that. I I, I couldn't get anybody to, to say if it was good or not. If they got half life Alex. I haven't tried it yet though. See, that's the thing. Everybody says it came out, but nobody's trying it. That game died, and I don't think they're ever going to get their audience back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, How can you complain about a, a, a like a mid-tier 9.99 VR game that has a, a long campaign? It's, it's hard to complain. Oh, oh, got it. Phew, thought I was gonna fall. Brooklyn, are you getting ready for Madison VR? Hey, uh, Brooklyn, to be fair, I think... You need some tips? Oh, I got tips. I'll have to send you some tips. Brooklyn, to be fair, I think we crap on every one of your games, you buy because you always buy the, the ones that are janky. Cuddles, how far did you get in, uh... Wow. We... I think we were savage on that, weren't we? We were not non-stop. <laughs> Dude, it's... Um, you... You want to talk about a developer? The guy that made that game is basically a one-man crew, Eddie. And he... He put more updates into that game than to in six. Six? Okay. Yeah, my my first tip is to kind of stick with the class for a while. So if you're doing Rifleman, just play Rifleman for a little while and get used to the mechanics and stuff like that. Use cover. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's hard. Whoa. How am I supposed to can I jump on that gear? Let's see. Yeah. Woo! Uh, use cover as much as you can in that game. Do not stay out in the open. Yeah. It's funny because I beat that game, but it was a little anticlimactic because... I was so, like, overpowered by the time I got to in Brooklyn that it was like, I beat that last boss pretty, pretty easily. Oh! I fell. That was nothing. You're gonna make me want to stream that Light Brigade again. And just to uh, see how far I can get. The last boss is easy once you leave his tricks. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I think some of those other bosses are a lot harder. That ice boss could be tough if you're not prepared. I'm having a difficult time leveling up. The only... Oh, I didn't know there was going to be a gear there. The only tip I could give about leveling up is you just have to keep playing. Wait, there's co-op in Light Brigade? I didn't think there was. I'll play co-op. Bullseye!
You know what? Hold on. Let me see if I can turn down. Maybe there is no co-op. Dude, if there was co-op, it would be crazy. I'm gonna turn down the music a little bit, guys, so I can hear you better. Dude, how, that would be really cool, though, to have co-op. Remember your training. Oh, I didn't know he was gonna fall. Okay, let's go. Don't worry, we will get it this time. Get it! Oh! Almost fell. Oh, look at this. Okay. Oh, whoa! I'm glitching out. I'm, I'm, I should have been pushed off there. Checkpoint is a blessing. Oh wow, look, I have to go from here all the way up there. Look at this. Woo! You made that look easy. Awesome. Yeah, it looks like they it looks like they uh they got Hell Sweeper where it needs to be, guys, and that that's a really good thing. I just hate All they got to do now is fix Foglands, right, Brooklyn? <laughs> Okay, let's... Woo, let's go! There we go! Got him. I don't know how this looks on on the TV, but there's a huge sense of scale here with the character and the and the worlds. Like I said, it's not better than Max Mustard, but man, it's pretty cool. The developer from Fogrins contacted me asking me to play it again since his new update. No! He saw my midnight stream oh no! Game. That means he's. <laughs> Brooklyn was were we savage on that on that stream? I can't remember. I think we were. Oh no! <laughs> that guy. <laughs> oh, that guy. That guy was so happy when. Oh my God! He saw. So he heard us try <laughs> trashing him. I think we weren't particularly kind on that stream, Brooklyn. If I remember right. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Foglands. Hey man, you release this garbage product, that's what you get. Ooh, cube. We should hit that. What's important? It wasn't so bad, was it? Fortunately for you, the next level will let your eyes rest a bit. We're reaching you never know who is watching. Yeah, and, and, and honestly, Brooklyn, I stand by everything in that stream. That guy released a shitty product, and it's it's just the way it is. When you release a product like that and hype it up like he did and it turns out like that, he has to hear it. He has to hear it. And I, I gave him the business on Reddit. I, I told him, so I stand by everything I said in that stream. 
And obviously he knew what he was releasing. We did it! Alright, another one down, guys. We'll do one more. Yeah, I feel bad that he got savaged, but man, if you go back to that AMA, he was like, this game's amazing, it's perfect, no bugs. It was garbage at launch. Hey, I got them all finally. Look, I got all ten. Yay. All right, nice. Uh-oh, going to the jungle. Man, I gotta go back and watch that stream, Brooklyn, and see what we said. I think I was going off on that. You played that at midnight, if I'm not mistaken. Anything happens after midnight. I don't see much, um, much chatter about Fogland, so I don't know what type of update he gave. Uh-oh. I hope both of you are up for the challenge. Keep your eyes clean. Exactly. I think it was worse than Hellsweeper. I, I think that game came out hotter than Hellsweeper. Oh! 20 bucks! Let's go! That game's worth 20 bucks. Brooklyn and I have that game if you, uh, we can play co-op. What am I going? No one said it was going to be easy. Oh, come on. There's no way he got me. Yeah, Crossfire has really good handling with the guns, wouldn't you say, Brooklyn? Like like you feel like you're shooting those guns. Hellsweeper just has poor visuals, but the gameplay was top notch. Yeah, it is like a whole new game because they have been adding massive updates. And you have to rem You have to remember the the I, I believe the people behind Hellsweeper are the people behind that game Sergento on the old PS1, and I put like 30 hours into that game. It was so good, Sir Sergento or. Or Soriento, whatever the hell the name was. It was basically uh, Hell Sweeper, but with ninjas. So, these guys know what they're doing. I just think they rushed another product out. Uh, what? You got 40 into Hell Sweeper? Holy shit. Ah. Alright. I'm trying to find those little guys so I can save them, but these boards are getting hard. Look at this. I didn't play Hell Sweeper, so I'll say Crossfire. But Hell Sweeper might might be the longer game if you want a nice single player meaty game. Crossfire has a bunch of single, like, little missions. Whoa, 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 what's this? Yeah, I mean, after playing Suriento, I don't know if I want to play Hellsweeper. Yeah, exactly. But I think the bottom line is both of those games. I don't think you're going to go wrong with either one that you pick, to be honest. It depends on what kind of game you're looking for. Well, push comes to show. Oh, come on with that stupid box. I didn't even see it. Yeah, I like this game. The, the only the only thing that I could say about leveling up you just have to keep playing because you get you get experience Don't worry. I trust you. every game you play so just keep playing I grinded that game for like 40 50 hours I got addicted Reminds 
me of Crash Bandicoot. Exactly. Fire gives you a lot to do and multiplayer is really fun because we do missions together. Yeah, Hellsweeper is not co-op, right? If I'm if I'm uh, if I'm correct on that, I can't remember. There we go. I'm getting the hang of this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What just happened? Oh, it does. So they, so they. Oh shit! What is? Oh, whoa, whoa! Is it the boss battle? Whoa! Oh, uh oh, we got a boss? Oh god, alright. Let's get ready for the boss. What do I gotta do? An interesting place. Unfortunately, I have no. just needs some sort of simplification. Oh, come on, I double jumped. Sometimes the camera angles in this game is not perfect. I think this is the boss where it's like playing a rhythm game. Okay. I think they did say something about that in the in the beginning of the level. Can I How can I get this I can't make that jump. Can I get this? I can't make this jump, can I? No, I can't make that jump. I should've... How do I get this little guy? Huh. Nice. Oh, I guess I was supposed to jump on top and then get him, but I didn't see him. I see. Damn it. Spikes, pits, and collapse. Oh my. Oh, all right. Now I'm gonna get him. Oh, it put me to checkpoint. Damn. Oh, why do I keep falling? All right, come on. All right, let's go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Synth Riders has, like, song. Well, you have to buy the songs that you know, and it's like, I don't want to spend 30 bucks on songs. Oh, come on. There's a couple cool songs in Synth Riders, but... I don't want to. I just don't want to pay for songs. Has a new firmware update with new additions where you can now browse the entire catalog of games and the new game of the non. What? Oh, come get out of here! Wait, Evercade has it on the. Classic songs. Yeah, exactly. They need classic songs. I don't want to pay for what Lindsay Sterling. I don't care about her. It dropped today. Alright, I'll have to check it out. Alright. Am I getting into the boss now? Let's go. Oh, not yet. See, I, that green stuff's annoying. The Lindsay Sterling patent that's actually the best. <laughs> you know, to be fair, you're probably right, but <laughs> yo, what's up? This is a different type of VR game. What is it exactly? So, this is a it's called tab where you can view every part with videos and a tab where you can see every individual game ever released. Wow, that's cool, especially if you own them all, you feel like a boss, right? So, this is Ven VR, it's basically a 3D platformer like Mario. And Astrobot and all that stuff. It's actually pretty cool. I'm on the fourth level. And I think I'm near a, a boss. It's a, The reason I'm playing it, uh, it's on sale for nine, $9.99 this week on the PlayStation and their spring sale. And you know, I'm a sucker for platform games. I love them. So, I figured I'd check this out. Alright, here we go. We heading in? Yeah. I hear... The spot. I hear rhythm. 
Oh, come on with that box. That's annoying. I gotta, I gotta figure that out. All right, come on. Ooh. Okay. Wait. That. That's that's not fair. I'm I'm jumping on the other guy's heads, and then that box gets me here. Let's see if I can I. Yeah, the, uh, 3D. I'm telling you, VR and platformers, they really it really works. Like, like this space. I know you guys can't see it at home, but it really is like an, an open 3D space. It's really cool. See, I'm not going for that guy. I'm not going for that guy. Screw that guy. He's on his own. Oh man, how much further does this level go? Let's go. Okay, we're almost there, guys. Oh, look at that. He can't push me off. How funny was that? I thought he would push me off. Alright, let's go down. Oh! Woo! Did you see that? Oh, come on. Should have been faster on that, but I couldn't see. Alright, let's go. Let's get it. Alright, let's power through it. Okay. Woo! There we go. Oh, look, I'm cheating. I went on top instead of the bottom. Ha ha. Ha ha. I don't know if they wanted me to go up there. Oh my god, it keeps going. Let's go. I can't... I can't tell if I'm up there. Uh-oh. Ooh! Oh! There we go. Alright, wow, I have to go through those four spikes and then over. Alright, ready, ready. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, I should... <laughs> I had the timing on the spikes, I just missed the wheel. Alright, let's do it again. Don't worry, we will get it this time. Oh, come on. Where am I? I was passed. I was passed. I think I'm going to jump on the side of the spikes. Watch. Watch this. I'm going to sit right here. Oh. Oh. All right. Come on. I got it. I got it. I got it. There we go. Now I can time the wheel. Oh, come on. You gotta jump when that thing is fully down. There's no, uh... There's no give with that. There we go. Come on. Oh, you gotta come back. That's what it was. Okay, I s crazy adventure. Here we go. Wait, there's no boss fight? Come on. We're here. Thumbs up. Thumbs up for the little guy. Alright, that's four levels. It looks like there's 12, 12 levels? 
Let's see. Yeah, I didn't get many of those 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 guys. Gateway to so oh, I don't see a boss. Alright. Wait, region one. Region two. How do I go to Oh, here we go, down here. Okay, there's region two. Alright, guys, that's not too bad. Four levels down. Um, $9.99 on the PSVR store. Very cool game. It's been out a long time, like Brooklyn said, on the Quest. Was ported over to the PSVR a little while ago, but... Uh, yeah, so I have the, the remake, and I played seven, and... The f what seven is for the PSVR one? That's still today one of the best VR games ever made. I, you know, what's funny. I I beat the Resident Evil eight or whatever, which one, the one that just came out. But I played it in flat, and I got it, and I have it for the VR. But I just don't want to go in the VR since I already beat it. It's almost like you're playing it over again. But I heard it's something you got to play in VR. So yeah, I have it. Uh, it's a must play. It's a must own. But I just. You know that game's like twenty something hours, so you gotta you gotta you gotta put your commitment in once you start playing that. You know what I mean? A game like this, I just played four levels in an hour or so. It's like, hey, this is cool. You know, when you play a game like Resident Evil, you gotta do two three hour stretches, man. It gets it gets exhausting in VR. But a game like this, made for VR. The VR is amazing in this game. Yeah. It makes it way scarier. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I I gotta play it. It's literally sitting like right over there on top of my PlayStation 5, because every time I come in my basement, I'm like, I'm gonna play this game today. And then I never end up playing it because I look, I download this, I have other games, my backlog's huge. And it's like Golden Tea takes a lot of my time, so but yeah, dude, play Resident Evil if you have it. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this one off. I might. Resident Evil Seven gets a PSVR two upgrade. It's the only reason I haven't played it yet. Yeah, dude. I'm still waiting to see if it'll be compatible as. You would think they they'd make an upgrade. I mean, it's in VR. They have a history of making VR. You know, for their games. Yeah, I would like to see the scale on on that girl see how tall she is in vr how it looks <laughs> the mask is whatever her name was but yeah um maybe I, maybe i'll play that but i might come back later and play some other uh you know quick hitter games stuff that's not crazy maybe some arcade games i'll see what i have in my vr collection i appreciate everybody to stop by i know it's been a while i gotta get back in the streaming more now that work's She's letting up is she 10 oh dude i that would probably be really cool in vr when you have to look up and see her <laughs> in the castle and then she's chasing you around that must be awesome uh all right guys i'm gonna tie this one off i uh, will see everybody soon maybe i will be back later tonight and uh maybe we'll play some more games Thanks, everybody. Talk to you soon.